Hello guys, welcome back to another Commander game. Lost the die roll this time. Uh, we're playing Alario this time. Switched it. Switched it up between games, and we're against the vampire dude. Okay. This hand's fine. Um, doesn't really have a lot of early action. I don't, I don't know if there's anything I want to blind tutor for in the near future. So it might just be Sunken Hollow Go. Ooh, Mind Twist. Okay, that changes things. Um, so if we get a Mana Crypt, then we can Mind Twist for three next turn. It's not bad. I'd be up for that. See what he does though. Vampire and Nighthawk, okay. Not too scary. All right, here we go. Mana, mana vault. Uh, does that give me more mana? Uh, it still lets me just mind twist for three, so mana crypt should be fine. How about you? Mazavith gets verdict, command beacon. Hmm, Mazavith is meaningless, gets verdict. Also meaningless to us. Command beacon, I guess, is whatever. Not particularly exciting. These cards are not good for us. They're not good against us, really, so. That's fine, though. Oil Maze of it is kind of cool. Probably just drop a Vidalcan Aurea this turn, I guess. Ooh, Ashiok is an option as well. So, what's Ashiok do for me? Just starts milling him. Yeah, it's fine. You can't kill it yet. It would be nice to get Ori out there though, just because uh, Mono Black not really going to have much in the way of answers to it. Whereas Mono Black has plenty of answers to an Ashiok. But if this makes him attack Ashiok, then our life gain is going to continue to give us a nice advantage. Okay, so it gets bigger when it deals damage to a creature. It's fine. It's interesting because the other vampires need to do it to players, right? Oh, that's haste. I didn't realize that. Really? Four mana, three, two, flying haste. That's crazy. I did not realize this was a card. That seems absurd to me. There's no, like, downside or anything. I 
Well, fair enough. Uh, Ore it is. We are getting flooded now, though. Would be nice to uh, have been able to use that vamp tutor to just get some card draw, I think. But, you know, at the time, Mind Twist seemed like a good idea. With what we hit, hmm, not so much. Commander is out. Commander is pretty meaningless to us, aside from it being a 4-3 commander. We're not really going to be playing creatures, so it's fine. We are going to want to start dealing with these creatures soon, though. Ouch. Might flash in a uh, Aloro. Can't really block much. So four fives. It really it can only block uh, the commander. But that'd be fine, I guess. Really, the reason is I want to be able to draw cards on my turn. Oh, there goes that plan. Can't block now. And his dudes are big. I think Alora's going to come in either way, just for the card draw. So blue, white, black, one, two, three. Oof, we've been using a lot of flips. Just pay white, I guess. Ah, there you go. That is what we wanted to see. Instant speed 2. Might as well attack here. Maloro's going to have to get sacked at his upkeep. Uh, alternatively, I could just Merciless Eviction before that trigger by doing it main phase. Well, no, because I'd be hitting Alora with Merciless Eviction either way, so that doesn't matter. <laughs> what am I talking about? Yep. Almost overthought that one a little bit too much. So this will give him a chance to play another creature out. Exile all creatures. Black, white, one, two, three, four. All right. Well, that's step one to stabilizing. Not dying to mana crypt is step two. Not looking good for us. Alright, swords is good. So we got counterspell and swords. Gives us time. And we can recast Aloro if it comes down to it. I think the, the mana crypts have been much nicer to him.
All right. Blue. Oh, he scooped. All right, we got there. GG's. What were we drawn? We drawn two cards next turn. Per streamed Korea Paint. All right. I will consider that decent stabilizing so long as we didn't die to our mana crypt. Uh, yeah, if you guys liked the video, feel free to subscribe. Helps a lot. And I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.